Welcome to Oceans of Possibility Summer Reading for the week of June 26, 2022, Preschool Age Part 2. On the Seashore by Anna Milborn and Erica Jane Waters. Have you ever been down to the seashore to look for treasures the sea has left behind? Sometimes there are trails of frilly seaweed and lots of dainty seashells scattered across the beach. And sometimes, hidden among the rocks, there's a pool of shimmering water. Nothing in the rock pool seems to move, at first. But if you watch very closely, you might see two shiny eyes peering out of a small grubby shell. It's a little hermit crab. He's very, very shy. He spots a juicy mussel and reaches out with his big, bumpy claw. He pulls the mussel out of its shell and gobbles it up in one big gulp. The hermit crab shares the rock pool with a spotty fish, three orange starfish, and a pretty anemone. The anemone is sitting on a twirly shell. The twirly shell is bigger than the hermit crab shell. He feels inside with his claw. There's no one living there. So he heaves himself out of his own shell to try the new one on. Without his shell, the hermit crab looks soft and rather bare. Suddenly, a seagull swoops out of the sky. It wants to eat him up. Quickly, the hermit crab dives into the twirly shell. The seagull tap, tap, taps hungrily on the shell, but it can't reach the hermit crab hiding inside. So it flies away to find its dinner somewhere else. The little hermit crab is safe. He drags his big new shell across the sand. With the pretty anemone sitting on top, he's hard to spot at the bottom of the pool. Soon the gentle lapping waves start creeping up the seashore. They wash away the footprints and swallow up the sand. They cover the rocks and the rock pool disappears. Under the waves, the spotty fish and the two tiny shrimps are free to swim away. And the hermit crab clambers over the rocks and sets off to explore the deep blue sea. Maybe you'll find the hermit crab when the sea slips away again, or maybe there will be new treasures waiting to be found. The end. So all we're gonna do um, for our activity on the second part here is we're going to play with sand in your craft to go kit. Includes a bucket and a shovel and a little rake and a tiny little scooper. So all you're going to do is play with the sand. Um, you can wet the sand if you want so that you can make sand castles like in the stories or um, you can just play with the dry and it's a great sensor sensory experience because um, sand just feels so good going through your fingers and that's all there is to it.